If you want to trade with me, I have a shadow trading program where you will be added to a private group and receive alerts in a moment's notice anytime I enter and exit a trade. Click the link in the description below and let's start making this money together. Hello, how's it going today everyone? I hope you're all doing fantastic out there today. First off, I must preface this video by saying, excuse me if I ramble, I'm going to try and keep this simple. Um, but I can get off on tangents and get a little distracted when I'm talking, so forgive me. But I just wanted to show you here how to identify good short-term scalping positions primarily for the Nadex platform. But of course you can apply this in any way of trading. Um, first we're going to break down this amazing setup here guys. So first what we're going to do is draw the downward trend line. So we're in a downward trend here. Um, the overall trend is an uptrend as you can see prefaced by this line here and we're also testing the zone again here but mainly what I want you to focus on here is this big breakout move to the upside we're seeing long wick activity establishing the top um, so there's no trade here obviously so we, we wouldn't get in any trade here um, we are well above the uh, uh, moving average here and now we're in a sharp decline Saw a little bit of a push back here, just a little bit of resistance tension here at the moving average. But as you can see, we kept moving down. Um, and then once we got to this zone here, this established an overall rebound zone. You look at this. Increase in volume. Downward move. Long wick activity. This is what you call a divergence here, a volume divergence, guys. I've been covering this a lot lately on the channel. Volume is something that is irrefutable. Um, you know, some of these indicators have lag and stuff like that, as we know. Volume is non lag, you know, ir irrefutable. Once it's there, it has established, it's a history. Um, so, with all of these indicators, sometimes it can be a little bit of a guessing game, but by incorporating different types of indications and ways of measuring a trend and um, you know, once you combine all these things, which is what I preach the most, guys, co combination trading with these fundamental technical um, trend areas, support and resistance news, all this together, it really helps you to diversify your entries and your opportunities in the market. But before I get too off topic here, very long wick activity here with a sharp increase in volume and a downward trend volume divergence we have expended the last of this bearish activity now what do we have humongous you know impactful green candle here breaking straight through the downward trend closing above the moving average but no this is not an entry we are establishing that there is a huge pushback but false breakouts guys they happen so often so what what do we wait for on the next candle long wick activity above the moving average that means the bearish pressure is gone. Get in after that candle. So on this five minute candle, you ride up, you could exit here, perfect place to exit with a nice short term profit guys. Just right in here. You held that for five minutes. Those of you who like to trade the five minute binary options, you could literally enter on this candle, hold through that candle, you know, even if you were crazy enough not to take profits way up here, hold that entire candle as long as you maintain above this zone here. If they had a contract at that zone, full profit over five minutes over a simple technical analysis here by combining volume divergence and a moving average. So simple, guys. Um, so I just want to show you that there. As you can see, we are testing. Um, it looks like it is. Yeah, so it is rebounding again. Now, once we get past this. Uh, moving average again close above and have a um, long wick or uh, a red candle with a long wick that closes above the moving average here again we will continue to go back and forth as you can see it is actually forming a wedge formation too so um, overall in the in the long term whichever way this goes breaking above here or breaking below here that's what the greater trend is going to be so that's when they say um, when in doubt to zoom out focus on the higher time frames if you're into trading hourly contracts, which is what we do in the shadow trading program, then you will definitely want to get into a position on the higher time frames um, after you see a breakout on either side of this 
So just wanted to cover that with you guys, volume divergence. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and check us out for more, and we appreciate you coming by. See you in the next one. Peace. If you want to trade with me, I have a shadow trading program where you will be added to a private group and receive alerts in a moment's notice anytime I enter and exit a trade. Click the link in the description below, and let's start making this money together.